We went apple picking yesterday at a local apple orchard called All Seasons Orchard, and I have some apple bread in the oven right now, but I'm also gonna be making some applesauce and canning it, so I thought I would take you guys along with me. So to get started, I have my canner coming up to a boil right now, and I have my jars inside of it to sterilize them. I've washed six pounds of apples, and now I'm going to peel, core, and quarter them. So I'm just cutting up the last of these apples and I just want to say you can easily use store-bought apples. Make sure you wash them really good. Um, store-bought apples tend to have uh, like wax on the outside to make them look shinier so they look more peeling. So just make sure you use some warm water. I also like to use vinegar just to make sure they're nice and clean. And then I am also using the recipe from the Ball New Canning Book. You can use the older one, but that one does have a little bit more sugar in it, so it's up to you, whatever your preference is. I'm gonna add two thirds cup of sugar, half cup of water, half cup of lemon juice. Then I'm gonna cook this for about 20 to 25 minutes over medium heat. So I'm gonna stir that frequently and make sure nothing burns. And this is just a base recipe. So once you're ready to eat it, you can customize it however you want. You can add cinnamon, other fruits, whatever you want to make it your own. This is a really easy, customizable recipe. In about 25 minutes, and I'm going to mash the apples now with the potato masher. You can do this to whatever your desired consistency is. I like it a little chunky, so I'm gonna do it a little less. If you don't like chunks, do it more. You can also use a hand mixer if you prefer it to be smoother. Now I'm going to ladle the applesauce into each jar, leaving about one inch of headspace. I do have a very small amount left, so I'm just gonna save this for us to eat later on in the week. I'm going to use a butter knife just to remove any air bubbles that may be in there. Now I'm gonna wipe the rims to sterilize it. I'm using vinegar. Now I'm adding the lids onto all the jars and making sure they are centered. And I'm going to put the lids on just to fingertip tight. You don't want them to be too tight and you don't want them to be too loose. I'm going to add these back into the canner the canner is boiling during this time. I'm going to very carefully lower this into the water, cover it, and I'm going to let this go for 20 minutes. This will change depending on your altitude, so make sure you look into that if you're making this recipe. 20 minutes, and I'm now just carefully removing the jars from the canner and placing them onto a towel. I'm going to let these sit overnight, and I will be back tomorrow, and we will check and make sure they sealed correctly. It's now the next day and I am removing the rings and we are going to check to make sure these all sealed. Now, when you're storing your canned food, you wanna store it without the rings because these seals can and sometimes do come loose and you wanna make sure you know if that happens. Also, if you have the rings on, these can actually come loose and reseal themselves and now you have all sorts of germs and bacteria inside your food and we obviously don't want that. So I'm just gonna pick these all up by the lid and make sure I don't feel any movement and make sure they don't come off. And it looks like we have four good seals. So I'm gonna store this with the rest of my canned food. And you now have shelf stable applesauce. You might have some liquid that settles at the bottom. That's okay, that's normal. Just give it a good mix when you're ready to eat it and you'll be all set.